In this video, we're going to be talking about shooting natural lights on location. I was on a uh, campaign shoot for one of my clients and thought I'd share the process of how I got the images. Um, some natural light, well, pretty much all natural light. I have used a scrim and one look I used a flash, but we'll talk about when we get there. Let's get into it. So as you can see here, I'm just uh, shooting a combination of stills and videos, which is pretty much what I do on all my shoots. That's a little bit of the video, and that's what it looks like. So the video was shot on the Sony a7 IV, and stills I'm shooting on my Canon R6. And as you can see, I'm backlighting some of the pictures uh, which gives a beautiful hair light. And yeah, she's in full shade. Um, one of the things I would recommend is trying to find a spot of open shade, but if it's early enough, as you can see here, this is full sun. Uh, we decided to move the location just to get a bit more brightness. And this clip is, again, uh, some of the video. My assistant Luke is holding up, um, not actually, I mean, it's a scrim, but the way we've got it is we're just basically using it as a gobo or a go-between, uh, which would be the sun and the subject. And as you can see, we're creating a nice shadow, but all the natural light that's kicking off, even the car, the ground is filling into her face. It's always nice to get your models to do some movements. You never know what you're quite going to get, but I do feel that it's important. Okay, so here you can see my, my assistant's holding a small flash, and I am I'm using the Godox 8200 for that. Okay, so yeah, um, I think we broke for lunch, came back probably around half one, two, and we are in the shade of the building. Some of these are flash, some of these are no flash. I do like to get nice and low. I tend to have a preference for shooting up. It makes your subject feel a bit stronger and taller. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Like it, love it, leave a comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos and let me know if you want to see how I color graded these images. Um, if not, you can let me know too. Let's play out with some of the other pictures that did not make it into our video.